Hello, this is Scott Barrett, and in this short training video, I'm going to demonstrate the proper way to do a listing price change in the back office. So I'm in the back office, and I'm going to go under transactions, and then um, for the purpose of this, let's say uh, 22, seven, um, or 22, 729 Skyview Circle is my listing, and I need to, to change the list price. Um, so I have an option here that says price. I click on this, and it shows what my current price is. But let's read this. Submitting will create the residential listing agreement price change addendum form. Changing the listing price will require you to an executed copy of this form to be stored and assigned in the back office. Um, so it shows my current list price, um, and then I'm going to put in a new list price. Um, so let's say in this case I'm going to um, we're going to drop it to let's go with a hundred thousand dollars even. It's all I'm going to do is put in one hundred. Um, it shows here comma zero 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 check mark means that um, I'm going to just need to put in the hundred. And it's going to put in the other three zero, so it's a hundred thousand. So I add the new list price. I hit submit, and then it's going to come back. And basically, um, utilizing the data from the database of the transaction, it automatically created the form and completely filled it out. It's prepared for signing. Um, it gives me a pretty strong image of that form right here. Um, if I cannot read it in detail and I wish so, I can use this zoom in feature. And it shows here Mr. Seller, today's date, the authorization to do this change, the property address, the date of the original listing when it was executed, and then the new price that I'm changing it to and it's just needing the seller signature. So I'm going to zoom out and then show you the two ways this can be accomplished. Option one, I can download the form. So it downloads to my computer. It shows down here in the lower left corner. Once it downloads, I open it up. So that's ready to print. And then I can go in person to my seller, have it signed, and then return the document to the back office system. Option two, really nice, really simple. Um, um, because I put in my seller's name and my seller's email address in the record when I created this transaction, um, it's auto-populated. If not, I would need to send, um, actually add that because this option is going to allow me to use the embedded um, e-signing to just send the document through email, have the seller review it, sign it, and then it comes right back into the system. So I can now hit send for signing. Let me just modify this show you this process. So I'm going to send it for signing, assuming that was the seller. Now the seller, all right, I'm going to go back into my email account and I have an email from the system. I'm the seller now. The seller opens up the document and begins the process. Here's the form and the seller just clicks, adds their name to it. Obviously, they should review it. It has the date of today. It's done. And so now when I go back, actually, let's go back here. If I'm the agent, um, as the agent, I will get an email notification so that I'm aware that the seller did execute the document. What's really great is that the system um, actually understands what that document was and brings it right back into um, the system and automatically assigns it for you in the, um, and, and puts it right in review. So you won't have to do that process because it identified what that document was for when it came back and auto assigns it. So that's how you um, execute a price change. And that's right here. If you wanna see the document, you can obviously click here and see it. Um, and that completes this training video. Hopefully this helped you understand that process. Please watch other videos that will help you learn and earn. Thank you.